Welcome back. We are looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we had quite a rally both on Monday session and also on Tuesday session. So at this moment, I believe that we are going to test this high um, point here. That is around 3,200 level, or just above that. And I don't expect us to break this level. I think we will retest it and then go back down. However, if this level breaks, then we will go and uh, fill this gap in. And if this gap gets filled, then it is all only the all times high of around uh, 3,400 that stands in the way of us continuing uh, on this uh, bullish run. Um, however, I don't believe that we'll break this level. Um, we need a lot better economic indicators. We need uh, to see that economy is going getting back to normal and so on. Um, this is not the Nasdaq. This is not the, the tech companies uh, that have been benefiting. These are um, uh, airliners and other industries that uh, are technically still getting hammered by the coronavirus. So um, we, I do believe that we will... Uh, We'll uh, test this high here. And uh, when we test this high here, probably on maybe on Friday or and uh, maybe with the beginning of next week, we'll start going down again. So um, this level of uh, 3,000 has been major resistant uh, recently. We have tested, we have been here several times, one, two, three, four, five, six times, basically we've been testing this uh, level. And at each time we basically bounced off uh, that level so this is um, uh, psychologically the 3000 is uh, um, a uh, support level and also we have the 15 moving average right underneath and that will also uh, play as a supporting role um, furthermore we have the Fibonacci numbers here we can see that we also have the uh, 23.6 Fibonacci retracement here. So that, of course, also plays as support. If we this, if all of this breaks, which, yeah, we technically need something uh, extremely bad news in order for this to, to break, then we'll go and uh, test this Fibonacci number here, which is around uh, this, uh, this number here, which is around 18, uh, 2800, something like, uh, near 2800, uh, or just above that. And if that breaks, and I would be amazed if that would break, because this area here was just an absolute, um, uh, almost impossible to get through in, in the past, and we would need some massive increase in uh, coronavirus numbers and um, significantly bad numbers economically in order to get through this level. So... My best guess is that we will continue within this range. And if uh, the economy improves, then we'll technically we'll go higher and test these highs. And if the economy gets significantly worse, which it may well be, uh, there are parts of the world where, the, where, especially in the United States, where the coronavirus is still, um, uh, is still uh, increasing um, in, in death toll, also in the number of uh, infected. So, uh, yeah, we may well um, see this market going lower. However, everybody has to be taken into account that the Federal Reserve will basically step in and prop up this market. So, so there's a lot of resistance here, a lot of support, I mean, and also you have the Fed. So don't expect this market to just collapse uh, uh, at any time soon. My best guess is that we'll bounce within this range here for quite some time before uh, before uh, taking off on either side. So if you look at the other uh, indicators, just remove these. Look at the other technical indicators. We can see that uh, MACD, uh, MACD is, uh, is technically above the signal line and not even close to, to um, crossing the signal line. So this is in case that we're not going to see a, a significant drop in this market um, at, at this current time. 
So, um, so, uh, so yeah, we're yeah. I had the weekly chart. No, it's the daily chart. Sorry. Um, so we are underneath the signal line. So we may see a crossing, which means that we'll technically go higher. Which, uh, which, uh, yeah, it means that we'll go and test these highs again. Uh, we also see that RSI is um, is uh, is not all about, not oversold, and it's basically an upward trajectory. So that also uh, confirms that we'll go higher. We talked last time about the Bollinger Band, and we basically hit the lows of the Bollinger Band uh, last Friday with this uh, massive drop here. And since then, we have just gone higher. So we could expect us to go and test this uh, um, top of this Bollinger Band, which is, yes, it's, uh, it's around this area here, which would, uh, yeah, would, uh, would fit perfectly with, with, the, with the notion that we're going to test these highs again before going lower. We also see that stochastic, we're just about to cross the signal line, indicating that we'll go higher from here. So, um, yes, everything indicates that we basically go and test these highs. If these highs uh, break, then we'll go and uh, we'll go and fill this gap here. And if this gap, um, uh, if we fill the gap, then it's always only the highs left. Um, I don't believe we'll go there yet. Um, we need better economic data. Um, we need technically um, a cure also for this market really to to um, to um, to increase. So I would my best guess is that we'll stay in this range of um, two thousand three thousand two hundred uh, roughly and in the range of, uh, in the lower range of 3,000. So, hope you find this uh, video uh, helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing and hit the bell button and the like button. Thank you very much.